So here at Saul, we hail from 80 different zip codes in Philadelphia. We are a highly diverse student body. Um, we are all over the map socioeconomically. And I think that our kids here are salt of the earth kids. We have a 95% graduation rate in general, which is a very, very high number compared to other high schools in the city. Um, about 85% of those kids go on to college. Um, a lot of people, even in Philadelphia, don't know that we are the largest agriculture high school in the country. We have four agricultural majors, uh, animal science, horticulture, natural resource management, and food science. And so starting in 10th grade, kids will spend about 90 minutes a day in their major. And then by 12th grade, they're spending about 180 minutes a day in their major. I actually grew up in uh, Frankfurt, which is in Philadelphia, um, like the North Philly section. So my passion for animals didn't really come from anything specific except for the fact that I've always loved animals. Any kind of animals, I really didn't care. Like, animals were just my life, basically. And my dad, he found out about the school and he took me here seventh grade. I really loved it because it was horses around, cows, I'd never seen them before. In like fourth grade, I drove by it for the first time and I saw the horses out in the field and I told myself that like, no matter what it is, I'm gonna come here someday. I think that a kid who chooses Saul is a very specific kind of kid. Um, the kids who do well here are the kids who wanna get their hands dirty, literally and figuratively. They want to be engaged, they want to do, and they want to work. When I first came here, people back home are like, there's this farm in, you know, in the city. I said, yeah, and they also got registered cattle there too. The Holsteins, they mean a lot here because I can go out and uh, sell Holsteins a lot better than I can any other breed because I know a lot of people that need them. In the barns, they do a lot of hands-on, like uh, cleaning stalls. They brush cows, some of them clip cows, some of them show cows. We go to some county fairs here in Pennsylvania and they pretty much do everything that a dairy farm does. The dairy barn program is great. I worked as a student farmer. I had the opportunity to do that last summer. Um, basically you come in eight in the morning, you help with milking, you help with feeding, you clean out pens, you help with calves that are born and all kinds of stuff. Um, anything that a normal kid would do in a dairy farm, you're doing it here. I really like that you get to like show and raise cows if you are interested in it. I want to be a large animal vet when I'm older, so it was an easy pick for me. It's just really fun. I love cows. <laughs> the kids, I would like them to understand why dairy is one of the primary agricultural based industries in our state. and what it means to be a dairy farmer. So our Philadelphia FFA chapter, we're unique in that the entire school is all FFA members. I think kids who take a real interest in FFA, um, they go to nationals, they go, you know, show at the farm show, and they really are proud of this work and this unique experience that they get to be a part of. Agriculture is really important to this country and the world because we have so many people that we need to feed. So we need to like learn as much as we can about like how we're getting our food, what we're doing to the environment and stuff like that to keep the world going. I mean the education you're, we're getting here for agriculture is like next to none. I'm not the type of kid to sit in a class all day. That's definitely not me. And uh, if we want to learn about the horse's hoof, we're out there looking at the horse's hoof, learning it. If we want to learn about pregnancy checking the cows, then we're out there doing it with the vet. It teaches patience, it teaches perseverance, it teaches the value of hard work, um, the value of you know, not just being intelligent in the books, but also being able to have these other sensibilities to you that enable you to interact with your environment, whether it's in animal science or natural resource management. I love watching teachers and kids interact 
in meaningful ways around meaningful work. I love the surprise on kids' faces when they do something that they didn't think they could. Since I got here, it like made my mindset like bigger, like what I can do. So, to not be afraid to try new things. A lot of these kids in the city think that you know, they're gonna go work retail and that's the only thing available to them and it's, it's not, you know? So if this is your passion, you'll find it doing it here, so. <laughs> when kids walk out of here, um, if, if they can say that they've had a good day and if they can say that in general they've made good connections here at Saul, then I feel like it's working. <laughs>